Hi and welcome to Deep in the Bunker, where today we're foraging for nature's springtime harvest. And here we are, bramble bushes, or blackberry bushes, whatever you want to call them. And I want these because I want the young leaves. This time, end of April, uh, perfectly edible uh, leaves, and we're going to turn them into tea. Yeah, fresh or dried, the young leaves here make an absolutely wonderfully refreshing tea. And after a long walk, that's exactly what I need. So I don't need too much, and I just want the very tips here. The younger, the better. Right, get my equipment out and we'll start making uh, a brew. Now you don't have to just use bramble leaves here. This time of year, the young fresh uh, leaves of the tree, the birch tree, is equally just succulent. Cheers. Now that's nice. It is actually slightly fruity. You know, Stevie really brings out the sweetness. I'm more than happy with that. Now that's great, but there's plenty of other things to be foraged around this time of year. Springtime is actually abundance for all your herbs and etc. So things like uh, your hairy bittercress, that's the nasty little weed that I've always uh, pull out of my plants every year. You've also got things like horse parsley, lovely headed um, plant, completely edible leaves and the flower head. And cow parsley. Now this one you have to be really careful for because it's really closely uh, in resemblance to um, hemlock, which is as we know, deadly hemlock nightshade, it's horrible stuff. Um, it's stuff which is used to kill you. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you're gonna pick uh, cow parsley, really be sure on the identification of it. And of course you've got your plantain or the greater plantain, um, lovely broadleaf plant with the stems coming out, unmistakable. And later on uh, in May you've got things like common mallow coming up, the leaves, the flower heads, everything all again edible. So there's no reason not to have a look around and see what's in your area. Right, last sip of tea and let's see what else is out there. Check this out, purple dead nettle. Member of the mint family, once again leaves and the flower heads are completely edible. Mm. 
don't taste great but and the uh, nutrition is really low on this um, but it's something to keep in your belly so if you're hungry and you're on the move and it's readily available go for it okay thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe of course um but for now this has been deep in a bunker take care stay safe stay sane